So in the last video, we went over LVM, how to create logical volumes from a volume group, and how to create physical volumes from a device and add those physical volumes to a volume group. And this one is going to be how to use the uh, volume group extend and reduce command, how to enlarge your volume groups when you add new physical volumes, and how to enlarge, uh, extend your logical volumes. So you can see here I've added a device XVDC. I've partitioned it into three partition device partitions here. If I go ahead and do a VG display here, I have a volume group 01, uh, which consists of, uh, oh, oh, sorry, I have vol group one here, right? This was a different volume group. Um, it's this big in size, and it consists of these two partitions here. Um, but I need to add uh, more space, right? So I've gone ahead and I've added uh, XVDC3 here. I did a PV create on, on XVDC3 earlier uh, to create a physical volume, but I'll go ahead and do it again. Let's swap. Uh, now that I've created a physical volume for that uh, partition device, uh, I need to add it to a volume group. So for that, we're going to do VG extend the name of the volume group we want to add it to. Uh, and then the device partition, so XVDC3. This is volume group one successfully extended. So now if I do a VG display here again, um, you can see the size of this volume group, vol group one, has increased here. We just play vol group one, probably make it easier to look at. There we go. Yes. So that size has increased. So basically, you add a new device, uh, you know, you make a partition, and then you make a physical volume off that partition, and you use VG extend volume group name, the partition device, and that extends that volume group by that much. Um, but now what if I wanted to reduce a volume group, right? Say I had data on, uh, maybe I wanted to, you know, get rid of the device that I just added, uh, the device XVDC3, right? I don't need it anymore. I want to take it out. Use the PV uh, reduce or VG reduce command for that. But first you want to move the data. If there's any data stored on this device, you're going to want to use the PV move command to move that data. What it's going to do is when I define PV move uh, here, it's going to take all the data, the files stored on this device, and it's going to move them over to the other uh, physical volumes in the volume group, uh, given that there's enough space, right? If I've got three gigabits worth of data to move, but only two gigabits worth of free device in that volume group on those other physical volumes, this command will not work. Um, I don't have any data in uh, volume group one or on XVDC3 right now. So it's going to say no data to move. But if you had data, it would move that data. So then once you've moved the data, you can go ahead and do a VG reduce the volume group name, right? So I'm going to do vol group, uh, group one. Uh, and then the device we want to, the physical volume. Oops that we want to uh, reduce this uh, volume group by. XVD, uh, C, oops, I spelled that wrong. C3, yes. So then it says, uh, you know, physical volume removed from volume group one. So if I do a VG display here, on a ball, group one, you can see the size is now reduced again. So that's how to extend and reduce a volume group. Uh, so what about a logical volume? Well, to extend a logical volume, right? So first, I don't have any logical volumes. So let me go ahead and uh, LV create here. I'll make it 400 uh, megabits. Uh, it'll be in volume group, uh, volume group one. And then logical volume LV lvol0 is created in vol group 1. So if I do an lv display, uh, just to verify my work here, uh, 
da, 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 L ball zero. There's my logical volume, the volume group it's in, and the size. Um, let's say I needed to extend this, right? Well, it's pretty easy. You just do an LV extend dash capital L if you want to do it in uh, you know, megabytes, gigabytes, stuff like that. Plus sign, how much do you want to add, right? Let's add another 400 mega megabits. Uh, and we're the logical volume that we want to add this to one L vol zero. You can see it says the size of the logical volume has changed from 400 to 800 in volume group uh, one. So if I do a DF dash H here, right, this is important to note. Oh, I haven't mounted it yet. So let me make a directory here actually. Uh, we'll call it test, right? Uh, let me make FS real quick because I did not make a file system uh, for this LVM. Oh, well, uh, zero. All right, now I should be able to mount uh, dev all group one of all zero to test. Now, if I do a DFH here, right, you can see I've mounted LVOL1 for VOL group 1. And it is 800 megabits in size, right? So that's the size um, of this volume from initial creation and the extension that I did. So if I do another extension, let's say I want to add even more space. So do a dash L. I just want to add another 200 to this logical volume. One L ball zero. Right. You see, it's been extended from 800 to 1,000, and you can see the available space uh, on this file system showed about 800 before that extension. So now it should show closer to the 1,000, right? If I do a day of dash H, well, it doesn't, uh, and that's because automatically um, the you have to expand, it doesn't know to expand that file system on that mount point. You have to use the XFS uh, grow FS command in order to fix that, right? So you just do an XFS grow FS and then the mount point, right? And then if I do the F dash H again, I can see that the size of the file system on the mount point has now adjusted to the new amount that I had added. So XFS, uh, Grow FF is so XFS Grow FS is for an XFS file system. If you had maybe an EXT4 file system, uh, you would use the resize uh, 2FS and then you know the vol group one, the name of the file system, right? Uh, which isn't going to work because I had an XFS file system. Uh, but if you had an ext4 file system, you would use resize2fs instead of xfs grow fs. Uh, and that's that's really all there is.